sub to get like quell like why wouldn't you this video please make sure to drop a like i want to see somebody get they what shit rock you want to see next let's get to it method for getting the win is the holy of combat sports Wait, with my camera? knockout for I this video we have compiled the list of instances where mma fighters damn knocked wait their hold on with some of the most terrifying right strikes though. ever seen in the octagon damn. number 12 edson barbosa okay. this kick is one of the more iconic Fuck. kicks ever you know seen you know in you know i'm just keep right there I'm keep right there itself is noteworthy okay Really poses the question. Man, man. What do you want to do? Do you want to take a chance and risk getting knocked Damn. out? Damn! Nah. <laughs> yep, Edson Barbosa pretty much turned his opponent, Terry Edom, into a frozen being, just like Han Solo, after a spinning wheel kick would land flush on the face Wait, of Wait, that's Jose Otto? Hell no, that's not Jose like Otto. Solo, after a spinning wheel kick would land flush on he, the face of the British. Am I tweaking or he just said Jose Otto? Oh, Jose, Jose, yeah, whatever, I'll say it. I know landed. I'm not tweaking. This insane finish kick. Nah, hell no, that's not him. When the Brazilian spun Damn. lightning fast and instantly turned his opponent into nah, a statue. Nah, he did that. Number 11, shit. Gary Goodrich. That's motherfucking like Kurt Angle. You've seen a knockout like this in your life. Yeah, you Kurt Angle in this bitch. And Herrera's a very good grappler here. This old ass footage. Oh, oh my elbows in number. Good. Is, is that shit even legal? You, you could elbow a person in USC? Nah, nah, yeah, you could. I'm dumb as fuck. I'm dumb as fuck. It's MMA. It's MMA. I'm dumb as fuck. The first shot rocked Hera. The second put him to sleep. The remaining six punctuated the ferocious debut of Big Daddy. Okay. This Big Daddy. could have easily been classified as murder, since after like the second elbow, you Damn. can see that Paul had already lost consciousness and the fight should have been stopped. Murder is Henry crazy. Henderson. After watching this first degree manslaughter take place, the real first question was how Michael Bisping was ever able to walk again. That's not even that bad. Henderson obliterated Bisping's face that's not even that bad. atomic right hand, dropping Bisping cold, but Hendo wanted to make sure Bisping wasn't getting back up, so he soared through the air like Habib Nurmagomedov and fuck? delivered one final blow to the unconscious Brit before the ref dragged him off. It was the first time he'd ever been finished or knocked out, and it was a loss that hounded him throughout his career until Damn. he finally got his revenge seven years later. Number 9, Altenbeck Mamashaw. Altenbeck okay. Mamashaw was an MMA fighter who was dubbed gold against Brazilian wrestler Elias Silveiro Elias at the Silvera. ACA 30 event in Russia. Right. Damn, a motherfucking mouthpiece then fell out. Damn. Damn. Wow. Hey, I ain't gonna hold you. Fuck MMA. So if somebody challenged me a box, I promise you I'm gonna accept and whoop that ass. I promise you. I'm a real boxer for real. Sign me up for that uh what's that shit called? The 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 motherfucking myth, the misfits boxing shit. Sign me up. Mamashov lost a huge right hook that hit the middle of Silvero's jaw, blowing out the Brazilian's mouth guard. Okay. Of course, after this heavy blow like a sledgehammer, the Brazilian wrestler was knocked out. But you can never forget the power of this strike and how close it was to knocking the Brazilian's head off. Number eight, Uriah Hall. Let's go arm, arm. Wait, hold on. Damn, hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta see that bitch. Hold on. Arm, arm. Bro ass unconscious. Opponent completely Hold on, floored and unconscious, but when he finally woke up, he definitely didn't sound all right. Hall took on Adam Sella in their preliminary fight during the filming of season 17 of The Ultimate Fighter, but his spinning hook kick finish wasn't one for the screaming. The Jamaican American okay. even apologized to the incapacitated Sella, who thankfully got up after treatment and avoided serious injury. This was one of those instances in the UFC where most of the people were wondering if this fighter had died. Number mm -hmm. seven, Jorge Masvidal. I mean, this one should be able to speak for itself. Yeah. The fight clock is brought to you by oh. Damn. Oh. That's first round. Well, that's first round. Oh. He just need his shit. The, the motherfucking fans didn't even get to, like, have a show. Cuban American MMA. That's like, fighter, bro, what the fuck? A stunning flying knee strike that absolutely destroyed Askren in five seconds in the welterweight contest. Askren was left helpless as Gamebred followed up with two necessary punches to the face, 
before referee Jason Herzog leapt on top of the down fighter and ended the fight. Number six, okay. Matt Riddle. The after effects of Matt Riddle probably scarier than the bro. Bro, that's a motherfucking weird. WWE person, Matt Riddle. Bro, that's a motherfucking WWE um wrestler. Or 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 did he do MMA before? He probably he probably did. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. He did. You see him right here. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. He did. He did. Check it out. Damn, yeah, Matt Riddle was like that. Better than Brock Lesnar, weak ass. The WWE superstar started the second round early by delivering a ferocious right. He had his ass in that bitch crying. He said, uh. Then Riddle pounced on uh, with three brutal hammer fists to the face before referee Herb Dean pulled him away. Similar could be heard mumbling and moaning on the octagon mat as the clip was spliced with moaning the is crazy. those in attendance. Dana White looked on in complete shock at Similar, who had broken his jaw in two places after medical examination revealed the extent of the damage caused. Number 5, Michael Page. If you haven't seen this knockout already, we warn you that the footage is violent. This knockout has to be one of the scariest ever recorded. Just about everything you Bro. need to fight, you lose off the liver shot. It can come back. Beautiful. Runs into the jockey, and it's over. Michael Page's KO of Evangelista Santos Damn. not only ended the fight, but the brute force of his knee strike crushed Santos's skull into pieces, requiring immediate surgery and forcing the Brazilian veteran into Bro, retirement. Like, I mean, just close your eyes and listen to the sound of the knee. Number four, Matt Brown. Like, bro, Harvard just imagine getting fucking knee in your head, like hard as fuck. Like, damn. What Matt Brown? Motherfucker gonna have a concussion for life. Fight night. He's gonna look for that elbow. He's out. Brown caught Sanchez's kick in the first round, walked him back against the cage, had the time to frame his elbow, and then obliterated Sanchez. The way Brown. his body flung to the floor after this powerhouse Make elbow just showcased how much power Matt Brown had. Number three, Yuri Prochaska. Ray is still firing back. Toughness shown on each side. Oh. The pair traded with tremendous force for more than nine minutes. Nah, hell no. We gotta talk about this shit. What the? F he might as well go ball. Hell no. Nah. One, two, three, four, five. Nah, what the fuck? Prochaska outlanded Reyes 78 to 68 in total strikes, and the knockout blow will undeniably be among the contenders for the 2021 KO of the year. He landed a beautiful spinning elbow that left Reyes face first on the mat unconscious and earned him a shot at the 205 pound title. Number 2, Gabriel Gonzaga. Gabriel Gonzaga scored one of the biggest upsets when he knocked out Mirko Krokop with a head kick at UFC 70 in Manchester, and it was pretty terrifying. Ribs, man. Bro has, bro has entered the motherfucking ring with underwear. Bro has gay. The two heavyweights headlined the fight card and it ended in dramatic fashion. It was one of the bigger upsets seen in the UFC and just as shocking because it happened to one of the most feared kickers ever to step foot inside the cage. This insane finish would occur in the first round and would land right on the head of the Croatian causing him to crumble to the canvas. Number 1 Francis Ngannou what do you All right, last one, last one. Hitter in the history of the UFC and an open chin. I hold it. I hold it. That should not be number one. That shit was ass. Hey, hey, hey. Who, who was it? Gonzalo? Hey, hey, guys, hold on, hold on. What the is UFC what? and an open chin. Wait, 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 wait. What's his name? Hit the canvas. Number one, Francis Ngannou. Zangano, I promise you, you step in the ring with me, I'll beat your ass. What do you get when you cross the hardest hitter in the I history promise of the UFC you. and an open chin? Like, bro, that weak-ass uppercut, you, you, you ain't doing that shit on me. You know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going to hit your ass with a clean... Just watch. Just, just hop in that motherfucking ring with me. Or octagon. Nah, nah. I, I ain't hopping octagon. Hop in the boxing ring with me, I'll beat your ass. The octagon, you can have that. But the ring UFC 218 was Ngannou's chance to prove his worth, and he did just that after a thunderous left uppercut in the first round. The Cameroonian French wrecking ball had already made Damn. a name for Damn. himself as the Damn. most terrifying Damn. fighter in the division, but this brutal KO on Alistair Overeem had well and truly made him a challenger for the title. I mean, it speaks volumes when Francis Ngannou's striking power is equivalent to that of a Prius going 40 miles an hour. And that right there concludes this video.
If you made it this far, please let us know how we did in the comments below. All I know is, everybody on this list hopping in the ring with me, it's over with. Like, like if everybody in that ring hopping in the ring with me, bro, like, like, like they don't understand how dangerous I am. 